What's up you guys? Today we're gonna go over the problem sum of left leaves. This is a problem asked at Amazon and Expedia. The description says find the sum of all left leaves in a given binary tree. So in this first example we have a binary tree and we can see that the leaves are 9, 15, and 7 but the left leaves would be the left child of that parent so 9 and 15 are the left leaves that we have in our binary tree. So we just sum them up and that should be our result. So for this problem, I'm going to go over both the recursive and iterative solution. So first, let's start off with the recursive solution since it is a bit easier to understand. So a leaf node is just a node where both the left and right child are null. So we need to find out which leaves in our binary tree are a left child. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a variable and we can call this sum and this will keep track of our total sum that we come across as we are going through our binary tree and this can be initialized to zero. So we're going to start our recursive function on our root node. So our root node is node 1 and what we want to do is we want to check the left child of the node we're currently looking at. And we want to determine if that is a leaf node and if it is our left child. So if we're checking our left node from our parent, we know it's a left child. But now we need to determine if it is a leaf or not. And the way we determine that is if the children of that node are both null. So node 2 is not null. So that means we can go forth and check if the children of node 2 are null as well. And obviously node 2 has two children, 4 and 5, so that means node 2 is not a leaf node. So what that means is we need to perform the same operations on this node 2 now. So node 2 becomes our new current that we're looking at and we're going to check the left node. And we can see node 4 is not null, obviously. And if we look at both the left and right child of node 4, it is null. So what that means is node 4 is our leaf node. And we checked left, so we know it's a left child. So what that means is it is, in fact, a left child that is a leaf. So we can change our sum to be whatever the current value of that node is so 0 plus 4 is 4 and then after that now that we've checked this left child we need to go forth and check this right subtree from node 2 so we're going to go right and we we know if we are checking a right child we're definitely not going to be adding that value to our sum so now it's just about performing the same operations we did now just on this subtree from node 5. So we're going to check the left child of our current node 5. And we can see that node 8 is not null, so we're going to check left and right. Since this is a leaf node with null children, that means we need to add this value to our sum. So 8 plus 4 would be 12. And then we're going to go back up. We're going to, from node 5, we're going to check the right. Since it's a right child, we know we're not going to add that value. And then we have null values for the children from node 9. And now we're going to go all the way back up to node 1, since we haven't checked this subtree yet. So we're going to go right. Since it's a right child, we don't add it. And now we're going to check the left child. The left child of node 3 is not null, so that means we can check the children of that node. If we look left and right, we find out that it is a leaf, so we need to add this value to our sum. So 12 plus 6 is 18. And then finally, from node 3, our current, we will check right. Since we're checking the right node, we know we don't add it. So our final value is 18. And so as you can see, in order to get 
this sum value of 18, we had to go through every single node in our binary tree. Okay, so let's implement this recursive solution. So first, let's just check if our root node is null. So we can say if root is null, then we can just return zero. We know that there isn't a sum to be found. And then now we're going to need a sum variable that we were using. So sum, we can initialize it to zero. And so the first thing that we did in every step in our example is we checked if the less left node was null. So let's do that. We could say if root.left, if it's not equal to null, then that means we can check the children of root.left and determine if that node is a leaf or not. So we can offload this to a helper function. So we can say private boolean is leaf. And we're going to pass in a node to this function. And so we just need to check the left and right child if they're null. That's how we know if it's a leaf. So we can just say return node.left equals null and node.right is equal to null. So in here, now we just need to utilize this helper function. So we can say if is leaf of root.left, if that is the case, then we need to add root.left's value to our sum. So you can say sum plus equal root.left.value. But what if this is not a leaf? If this is not a leaf, that means we need to go and visit that node as well. So if it's not a leaf, then we can just call sum of left leaves recursively. So we'll say sum plus equals sum of left leaves from root.left. So if root.left is not a leaf, then we're just going to go visit that node further so that we can check all the subtrees under that node. And then once we make it out, out here, we still need to check our right child. So we know that if we are checking the right child, we're for sure not going to add that value to our sum. So all we have to do is we can say sum plus equals sum of left leaves from root.right. So we're we're ignoring root.write's value. So if you imagine when we go back into the recursive function, let's assume that our root is a right child. We will immediately check the left child. And that's, that's how we just ignore the right children of our binary tree. And then finally, we just need to return our sum. So let's make sure that the solution works. And there we go. So the time complexity is going to be big O of n, where n is the number of nodes that we have in our binary tree. And our space complexity is going to be big O of n as well, where n is the number of nodes that we have in our binary tree. Our recursion depth could potentially go n levels deep. So next, I'm going to go over the iterative solution. And this solution is a bit more difficult, but it still involves the same type of logic. We're going to go over the same example for the iterative approach. So you can solve this problem using either a queue or a stack. It doesn't matter which one you choose. The logic is still the same. The only difference is that the, the order in which you're taking out nodes from these structures will be different. But the logic is still the same. So I'm going to be using a queue, but you can also use a stack if you want to. OK, so we have our queue, and then we have a variable called sum. And this is initialized to zero, just like how we had in the recursive solution. And then initially, our queue is going to have the root node, so one specifically, inside of the queue. So the first thing we'll do is we will pull from the queue. So we take out node one. And now we need to check the children of node one. So we're first going to check the left child. And since the left child is not null, we need to determine if this is a leaf node or not. Since node 2 does have 
at least one node that is not null, that is a child. That means it can't be a leaf node. So we need to visit node two as well. So we're going to add two inside of our queue. And since we're doing a queue based solution, uh, we're going to check now node three. And since node three is a right child, we can just immediately add this node to our queue. And now we are going to pull from our queue. So we're going to take out node two. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to check the left and right child from node two. So first, we're going to check node four. Since node four is a leaf node uh, and it's a left child, that means we need to add that sum. So zero is changed to four. Then we need to check the right child. Since it's a right child, we can just add that value to the queue. Then we need to pull one more time, specifically for node three. And we're going to check the left child. Since the left child is a leaf node, that means we need to add it to our sum. So four changes to 10, four plus six. Then we are going to check the right child from node three. And since we're checking a right child, we can just immediately add this value to our queue. Okay, so we're left with five and seven in our queue and our sum is currently 10. So now we need to go and visit node five. So we're gonna pull five from our queue and we're going to check the left child. Since the left child eight is a leaf node and it's a left child, that means we need to add it to our sum. So 10 plus eight, is now 18. And then we're going to check the right child from node five. Since it's a right child, we can just add that value to our queue. So that's nine. And then we need to pull from our queue again, take out our seven. And since seven does not have any children, that means we are done checking that node seven. And now we need to pull from our queue again for node nine. Once again, node nine does not have any children. So that means we are finished iterating and our sum is 18, just like how we had in the recursive solution. Okay, so we're going to first check if our root is null and we can return zero. Then we're going to initialize our sum variable and we need to initialize our queue. So we can say queue, it's going to be holding tree nodes inside of it. And we need to add in our root node to this queue so that we can actually start the iteration process. So we can say queue add root. And we're going to say while our queue is not empty, we will continuously pull elements and keep track of our sum. And by the end of iteration, we should have our total sum, so we can just return sum. So now we just need to implement uh, this breadth first search, essentially. So let's first pull from our queue. So we can say tree node, node equals queue.pull. And now we need to check the left child. And this is to determine if we are supposed to add that value to our sum. So we could say if node.left is not equal to null. And you'll see that this logic here is the, pretty much the same thing as our recursive solution. Uh, then we need to determine if we have a leaf node or not. So let's have a helper function again, is leaf. And we'll pass in a node. So return if node.left is equal to null and node.right is equal to null, then we know it's a leaf. So if is leaf at node.left. If that's true, then we need to add node.left's value to our sum. So sum plus equals node.left.value. If this is not true, then we just need to add node.left to our queue now. So q.add node.left. And if you remember in the recursive solution, instead of obviously using a q, we just called sum of left leaves. So this is really the only difference uh, just using the q. 
And now once we come out of this if statement, we just need to add the right child to our queue. So we could say queue.add node.write. And that's it for the iterative solution. So this part is pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is we're using a queue now instead of using recursion. So let's submit this. Oh, I forgot to check if node.write is not equal to null. We cannot add null values into our queue. So if node.write is not equal to null, then we add node.write into the queue. So let's submit that again. And there we go. So the time and space complexity. The time complexity is going to be big O of n, where n is the number of nodes we have in our binary tree. We have to touch every single node a single time, just like how we had in the recursive solution. And then our space complexity is going to be big O of n. We have to, in the worst case, add all n nodes inside of our queue. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.